Okay, we're not gonna mess with Garcia and Lutong and their nonsense anymore. So let's just move on. Um, honestly, I want to do this because I've been putting it off for so long. So we're gonna do this. Uh, an ancient sacrifice of sacred brocade. Sure. In there. Got it. I can do that, surely. My crystal fly. Okay. It's been so long, I don't even remember what this quest was. Like at all. We've done so many events in between then and now. Ah, oh, more crystal flies. I always need crystal flies. Uh, little Mal, can you see the golden carp fish? Hmm. Does this one drawn on the stone slate count? Here we go. Oh. I'm... I'm here now. I came in here yesterday when I was looking for jade whatever. We're here, big sis Fujin. Have you been waiting for us here all this time? She's so pretty. I want the carp lady to be playable. <laughs> no, no. After leaving carp's rest, I can only appear in places in which my power remains, and only by the grace of your adeptal energy. Storm. Wait a minute. Didn't the gap in the middle of the mural originally have something that went with the golden carp mural in it? I'm not sure. In truth, this is my first time seeing this mural as well. Huh? I'm sure you've all heard of the battles that took place in the past. Uh, the Archon War? Yes, this cave was one of the shelters we built for the inhabitants of Chen Yu Vale, such that the innocents caught in the crossfire when the floods overturned the heavens and the earth split open could have a place to, of safety. I didn't expect that they'd draw a mural here, though. Side note, this music? Really good. I don't know what this track is, but it's really good. I believe the ones depicted to be me. Hmm, I mean, the big slippery carp Little Mal mentioned, and a friend. It reminds me of The Legend of Zelda. It's giving me Legend of Zelda vibes in like the best way possible. Huh, if that's the case, why did the most important part get taken somewhere else? It's true, why is that? Perhaps dissatisfaction. The three of us were once great friends, with the two of us becoming worshipped as Adepti, and one of us was always the mountain's master. Later, Herb Lord and I defected together, and she most likely died too. Or perhaps the one amongst us who fought to the last never submitted, and only heard news of us afterward. Perhaps to her, we were all traitors. With the depictions of myself and Herb Lord becoming an object for her to vent her fury against. Huh. Is that really the case? The painting outside looks like. Who knows? In any case, that's all in the past. So please, lend me your strength in nursing Chen Yu Vale back to health. I can feel that there's another gold carp lingering where I used to, near Mount Zhuan Lian. I believe. Oh, so there's another. If we get that one, I should have enough strength to perform the ritual. Speaking of that, I must apologize for being unable to control the golden carp, even with you nearby. I know they might have given you some trouble swimming through the air like that. It's fine. 
I just think of them as Seelys. But really, where is the golden carp that should be here? Hmm, well, inside the painting. Just use your adeptal energy to awaken it, Storm. My what? According to what Fujin said, we should use adeptal energy. You needn't worry about the whereabouts of the golden carp. I will bring it. Well, then, by three friends, let us meet at Mount Blah Blah Blah. Go to the mountaintop pavilion. Sure. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a tree. Right. I did that. Um. Sure. I am here now. How do I uh, get up there? Exactly. Um. Well, I'm gonna climb the tree and glide over. A little shooty thing. My apologies for the poor hospitality. It has been a long time since I last enjoyed tea with others. Hopefully my brewing skills have not deteriorated too much over time. One, d I mean, I have some experience in appreciating tea. It was also thanks to this that I was able to tell that this year's tea offering smelled off. That was how I discovered the trouble came from the soil and water quality. Hmm. Huh. Didn't think the offering rites would be so useful. Oh, Persona's done being installed. That's nice. Yes, for those of you wondering, it is finally time to play Persona 3. Oh. I suppose now I can tell those who fail to appreciate the value of tea about its value with confidence. Come, Storm, have some tea. Uh, not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Pink's. Yeah. There was that time in Liyue Harbor when we fixed Madame Pink's teapot for her. Hmm. If you think about it, we seem to have quite a connection with the tea. Madame Ping? Ah, I think I know of whom you speak. We were acquainted back in the day, along with her friends. As Little Mouse said, I was once just a giant carp, unable to leave fresh water for too long, nor live in salty waters. As such, they sent me one of these teapots. That was how my friends would have been able to take me inside the teapot, of course, to Guayli Place in Liyue Harbor to meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. Storm, Paimon, you've been to Liyue Harbor. Could you tell me more about the city? I'd like to hear about it too. I've never been. Well, Paimon would like to start from one main restaurant. Of course you would. How about I handle the explanations this time? Sure, but don't you dare skip over any of the eating bits. It is a port city built and nestled against the mountains. You begin only for Fujin to interrupt you. She notes that she'd like to hear your Liu story. You understand to begin again. When we arrived in Liu Harbor, Paimon and I were just in time for the rite of dissension. The child and adeptus before you listen to your words and Paimon's incessant interjections, rude, leaning forward as you speak, exclaiming in shock and relaxing as the tension in the tale rises and falls. They also add their own commentary and questions about Liyue, such as the food and flavors available at restaurants, the toys the old lady sells, the gems and jewelry of Feiyun Slope and such. As you watch Fujin, Little Mao, and Paimon, be so moved by the tale. Paimon is moved by the tale. She was there for all of it. Along this journey, we met many friends and experienced so many things. 
it was all worth it. Wow, a sea monster, huh? That's amazing. Yeah, I really thought the sea monster was going to be a weekly boss, and then it wasn't, and I was really confused. Especially because an event made you fight Osile over and over and over again. I for sure thought it would be a weekly boss, and again, it wasn't. Baffling. Leo Harbor is not what I imagined. Do you find it disappointing? Well, no. Just different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I like the Liwa Harbor you described. It's good to hear that after all this time, our dear herb lord was able to find a home there. I think that's simply wonderful. What about you, little Mao? Could you tell me about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. Um, sure. I mean, Paimon and Storm have met her already, so... It wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. So this is how we met. At that time, I was still a little kid. You are, in fact, still a little kid. Who didn't know anything about the mountains? It was nighttime and some wild beasts were following me through the forest. It was super scary. Finally, I was chased to a clearing and surrounded by those beasties. For a moment, I was convinced I was gonna get eaten, but suddenly they all backed off into the woods and then they were gone. When I looked back, there she was, looking at me. She was like Jade, but there was a dignity to her. I knew it then, that she was the master of the mountain that my grandparents had told me about. I wasn't scared, I just told her. I finally found you. I've been looking for you for so long. I don't know why, but she lowered her head and thought before walking off. She made no noise as she did so. I listened as hard as I could, but there were no sounds of anything stepping on branches or fallen leaves. After that, I would sometimes catch sight of her, moving between trees in a flash. Sometimes the rising moonlight would outline her shadow as she stood atop a high mountain. At that time, I thought it was strange. Why hadn't I seen her before? She was always there, after all. I wanted to talk to her, but she would always turn and leave. It was only later that she became willing to talk to me, much later on, she would take me up very high mountains and into very deep forests. She asked me a lot of questions, and in exchange, she told me a lot of stories. In the beginning, Xiaoying Village was a nameless, barren mountain, and the rivers had a real temper. Sometimes they'd flood, and other times, they would all but wither. And on that barren mountain, she made two friends, a fish and a snake. Is the herb Lord Changsheng? I'm gonna bet the herb Lord is Changsheng. But later, the snake was cut into pieces. Oh. And the fish sank into the sea. And then, only Bluey was left. I thank you, little Mao. Also, um, don't tell anyone about my friend, okay? Of course we won't. You seem quite familiar with this friend of Little Mao's, Fujin. Indeed. But that was all in the past life. Many, many years have since passed. Since I could no longer live freely, I suspect that I might not recognize her any longer. Though, from Little Mao's words, she might not have changed too much. Past life? Perhaps that is not the most accurate way to phrase it. I did not utterly perish, but I did lose my original form, and my strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit veins. This is also why I invited you and Storm to Carp's Rest. If we were not there, I would not even have a form to show you or a voice with which to speak. It is thanks to you that I've been able to slowly regain my previous strength, coming here and once more seeing these scenes with my own eyes, meeting old friends from the past, and more importantly, making new friends. I'm very glad. How did you die? Let's just cut straight to the heart of things. The Traveler is very abrupt. My memories of that have grown foggy. The Herb Lord and I were both servants of another god, and it was I that organized the Rain Jade Rite, administering 
rivers and mountains for our Lord. As for the other, she was as she is, a beast, wild and free. In those peaceful days, I also climbed waterfalls to Mount Alkong and Mount Hulao, and there I met with the Adepti, whose powers and wisdom far eclipse mine. Of course, that was all before the war. Our Lord was not a heinous being by any means. Once upon a time, she made many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the Archon War itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on my part, I'm sure. You talked about how you and the Herb Lord defected. That's right. That might have been the bravest thing we've ever done. Our Lord had all but gone mad, seeking the position of a god who may rule this world, or perhaps seeking survival. Either way, she lacked the power to overcome Morax. So in a final desperate gamble, she caused the Bishwe River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew what that would mean for Chen Yu Vale and its people. Whoa, but, uh, Paimon thinks that that's something you should never, ever do, period. Perhaps that's just what war does to people. Either way, that was our final adventure as a trio of friends. Ling Yuan attacked people with her familiars, herding them to the shelter we had prepared. Herb Lord fought against our mistress while I climbed Mount Ling Meng and hurled the boat of rain jade into the rising waters. Of course, that wasn't a proper rain jade, right? It was simply the release of the adeptal energies stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its maw and swallow the rivers and allow the jade mouth to grow and stabilize the flow. Well, what happened next? Didn't little Mao tell you how it all ended? Yeah. That's right. Wait, really? What? All right, that's enough about the past. We should get back to performing the rite itself. True, but what about the golden carp? Isn't that what we're looking for? In truth, you've already found it, as with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. It's just that I missed the scenery here a bit too much, so I couldn't help but have a long chat with you all. After all, your sense of time and mind are not the same. You won't tarry long once your objectives are complete, will you? As such, I apologize. Please forgive my capriciousness. Dude, I so do not remember. Something about a teapot. Where is this carp going? Well, it like went somewhere. Are we finally going to get this part of the map? <laughs> 